Hey guys, what's up? This is what you're going to get if you buy an aftermarket battery for your iPhone 4. And pretty much any uh, aftermarket battery for iPhone 4, 4S, 5, 6, and so on. Uh, the removal process and all that is pretty much the same for all of them. There's subtle differences but this is specifically for the four. Uh, in this video, I'm just gonna show you what comes with a kit. I encourage you, this is just my uh, iPhone 4, an old iPhone 4 that I use as a display in my car for other reasons, but I'm just gonna show you the kit that you get. And I mean, look how big this box is. It, you know, it's got the warning that it contains a battery, all that good stuff, but look how big of a box they use for this kit. And I encourage you guys, when you purchase a battery, uh, look at the reviews. Uh, this one had over a thousand reviews and it had four and a half stars out, um, out of five. So that's a pretty good indication that it's not a bogus battery. And so out of that huge box, we've got this. That's it. So I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see everything. Obviously, I just wanted to have it backed out there so you can see. Um, that so let's zoom down exactly let me get this a little more centered let's just zoom down exactly on this stuff and give it a little bit out okay and so what we have here is basically uh it's from i don't know how you pronounce that data i guess something like that data.co but i bought it off of uh amazon it's an iphone 4 battery replacement with toolkit it's a uh, 3.7 volt battery, um, 1420 um, uh, milliamp, and it's compatible with the A1332 and the A1349. If you look at this iPhone 4, I don't know if this will show up or not. Uh, let me try to get this in the view. If it doesn't show, I'm not going to... Well, it's not really showing, but look on the, on the back of your... Uh, iPhone and down here at the bottom the reflection is not really showing but it will tell you the actual model and this is a model uh, A1349 so it ties directly into that but uh, I encourage you guys to buy not just the batteries but uh, buy the batteries that come in a kit that have the tools that aid you and make it so much easier to, to replace uh, so I'm just going to open this up and show you what you get in one of these uh, kits besides the battery and what each item is basically used for. Uh, also, uh, click right here, somewhere in here. I'll put an annotation up uh, on actually changing the battery in an iPhone 4. And I'm usually really detailed and long in my videos. So for you guys who have any trouble with it, you've watched, perhaps watched some other videos and didn't quite get it, I'll try to be as thorough as I possibly can. So I uh, open up the box and the first thing we get is a, a plastic bag here. Let me back the camera out just a little bit because it's, it's a little too tight on the uh, image here on what we're getting. Let me back it out, something like that. Okay, so we get a bag here that has the tools. We'll go through that. We get a business card basically from the company. Looks like that. The back looks like that. And then we actually get instructions here. Uh, I'll just show you that real quick. A little box of instructions. And then the, the, it comes kind of uh, protected. The battery is in here in the instruction box. You see it's kind of thick. I was like, where's the battery? So let me put this aside. Put the business card aside. And let's focus on the two things that matter. The battery and what comes uh, with it. First, I'll go ahead and open up the uh, battery and just show you what that's gonna look like. Comes in a nice uh, little plastic thing that's already open for you. Uh, and then it comes in more plastic, more of a plastic sleeve on top of that. I'll put that up to the camera so you can kind of see that more clearly. Okay, uh, and in the back of it, if you care about any of that information. So, as you see here, be careful with this part of the battery. This is the main thing. This is what goes into the logic board. But other than that, you're good. I'll remove this plastic when I actually put it on the uh, phone. Put it in the phone. And then, supposedly, there's instructions. Uh, don't see... Uh, the instruction just says, 
Uh, full charge, discharge, but don't let die. Close to 1% under 10% full charge again. So it's just basically tell you the, uh, the proper cy first cycle instruction when you put the battery in. Uh, it doesn't tell you how to uh, change the battery, in, but we've got videos like this. So let's open up. The point of this video primarily is what you get in these kits. Uh, because, I mean, I bought this for $12.99, $13.99, uh, somewhere in that range. And that's a really good, really, really, really good deal. Um, especially for one that has a thousand something reviews. Uh, anyways, uh, obviously you have a microfiber cloth. That's good for cleaning, all that good stuff. You can't ever have too, too many of those. You have a suction cup here, which this is going to allow. Let me grab the foam. This is, uh, I want you to take off the uh, screws, it's, it's just going to allow you to remove, if you want to use this as a suction, I just put, put it on there and it's good grip and it's going to allow you to be better able to remove that on the foam. Uh, usually you won't even need that. Okay, what else? Uh, it has a keychain. This I think was supposed to go on this, uh, looks like. Uh, a little key ring loop. I'm going to put this out and keep them in frame. It has a SIM ejector tool, so uh, it's just handy to have. You don't need this when you're removing your battery, but it's nice to have one of these instead of trying to use a paper clip or something. Uh, what else do we have? We have two guitar pick looking things. Basically one of them, this one here, could be used as a guitar pick. It's, it's uh, if you're a guitarist, uh, yeah, if you felt this, it would be like pretty much uh, medium thickness, medium to thick. Um, stiffness. Anyways, both of these are used as pry tools, whether it's getting the battery undone or popping off the back of the uh, phone, etc, etc. And then you have uh, two, let me get, let me get this um, uh, pry to see, we have our screwdrivers over here, I actually gave three, it listed two, that's interesting. Okay, and, and these are the primary pry tools, it gives you two of these and as you can see here, I'll try to show them up close one at a time here. They're a little bit different. Just one's kind of bigger than the other and they have little grooves on them. And just as the name, name says and implies, it's for prying. This one's the same thing. It's just, you know, just a little bit smaller, a little different shape. It has the same curved edge here. Uh, if you can notice that. So, and these are good for when you're coming around the edge of the battery, uh, when the battery is in the phone and you need to get it, because it has a lot of adhesive on batteries that you haven't changed before, uh, and to get those without, um, out easier. And then, uh, the biggest reason the, for these kits, in my opinion, are the uh, screwdrivers. Uh, this one comes with um, two Phillips head and one Pentalope. So it looks like the two Phillips head, I don't know, these are so small. I think they're 3.6 millimeters, something like that. Probably way off on that. But I mean, you can kind of, I don't know if the camera's focusing in on that much, but you can kind of see the size. These are two Phillips head screwdriver ends. Let me back this in there. But you see the size of that. So there's two different size. They may be the same size. That wouldn't make any sense. They may have accidentally put two of the same thing, but. Uh, and then you have your security um, one, which is the main one that people won't have, which most people don't even have the triple zero uh, size. I think this is probably a double zero and a triple zero. Uh, this would be the uh, triple zero and this would be the double zero. Uh, the more zeros uh, on the Phillips, the uh, smaller it is. And then this is the five point pentalope. Let me try to get that in the camera. And I apologize, you know, like uh, getting in and out of the frame because it's zoomed in so far. I'm just trying to get it to where you can see the edge of that. But uh, maybe I'll post a picture of this uh, in detail if you need to see that. But it's basically a security type of screw. I have looked at the bottom of this phone. I'm sure this won't show either. But it does indeed, if this zooms in enough, it, these two screws are not Phillips head. They are Pentalope. So that is what you get in one of these kits, uh, and they do vary. I mean, some of them have uh, less parts and more parts. But once again, to run down the list, you get the battery, the most important part of the whole ordeal. Uh, you get 
uh, a suction cup which allows you to move uh, to remove the back of the case in this in this scenario which allows you to pull this part off the back of the case on this phone and then you get uh, two pry tools here which look like guitar picks you get two different types of pry tools that look like this and uh, in this kit uh, we get two different sizes of Phillips head screwdrivers um, which are these two and then you get uh, the pentalope which is a five sided uh, pentalope pattern security um, screwdriver or security screwdriver I guess you would say uh, and Apple just basically put the pentalope in there to make it tougher to make you have to come to the store you know it doesn't make any sense uh, and that's it I'll give you one little bit of advice I'll say this during the video uh, that's that's linked here somewhere in the in this video of when I change this is that uh, I would recommend after you change pull out these two screws and you put in the uh, new battery uh, that you uh, purchase two more Phillips head screws uh, that they're that obviously the same size to replace these because you because the more times you undo these even one time can strip them or cause them to be a, a little bit stripped and if you ever strip these things out you you can just turn and turn and turn because I mean, that's what that's what a stripping is it's just rounding off and uh, so ideally you you want to uh, to uh, replace these if possible I don't ever do that with mine I just try to be really gentle and uh, and not strip these but that's the best do what I say not what I do but anyways that's the kit from data uh, D uh, a e t e d a e t a dot c o uh, and I bought it off of Amazon I'll put the links uh, where this kit is in the description and that's that and there also put a link I put a link off uh, I'll put an annotation all, all through this video at different points of the next step which I'm about to do right now which is uh, replace the battery uh, in this iPhone 4 so you guys take care uh, hope that helps you know just for informational purposes of what you get don't just buy the batteries especially when you buy aftermarket get the kits if you already have a kit great but uh, it doesn't really cost any I mean these are cheap parts so uh, it doesn't really cost you know, really any extra to have all the tools that you need need uh, to perform it